Hello everybody, this is uh, Brother Shine up here at Oasis Ministries and now I'm going to recap on uh, some of the stuff I preached Sunday night and uh, it's going to be found in Matthew uh, chapter 20 and uh, <clears throat> we'll call this a little uh, sermon tonight, the 11th hour and uh, <clears throat> we're going to go over some of this but anyway, uh, in uh, chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 20 starting in verse 1 it said, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he agreed with laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And when he, had, when he went out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Uh, I'm pretty sure the third hour means nine o'clock. So pretty, you know, pretty early, early in the morning. And he said to them, Go you also in the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. Give you. And they went their way. And again, he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and he did likewise. So we got uh, nine o'clock in the morning, then uh, six hours, 12 o'clock, and then uh, ninth hour, three, uh, three o'clock. And about the eleventh uh, hour, he went out and he found others standing idle. And he said to them, why stand you here all day idle? Eleventh hour is about like uh, back then it was sun up to sundown, a good 12 hour day. And 11th hour would be like one hour before the day would be over with. So he goes and tells them, tells them at the 11th hour, you go too. And uh, uh, he said, why stand here idle? You know, I looked up some of these words uh, the other day, uh, idle. And what idle means, it means uh, uh, I'm unemployed, I'm inactive, I'm doing nothing, I'm unfruitful, uh, and, and things like that, you know. That's what idle means. He said, why are you standing here idle? Why, why stand here, why are you, basically, why are you standing here unemployed? And then he said to them, because no man had hired us. He said to them, go you also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. So when evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard said to his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came, they were hired about the uh, 11th hour and received every man a penny. So at the beginning of this, he told them, you know, you agree with me for a penny? Here at the 11th hour, they're getting a penny. So when the first came and supposed that they should receive more, they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, these last have wrought but one hour, and thou made them equal unto us, which are borne the burden in the heat of the day. And he answered unto them, and he said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did thou not agree with me for a penny? Take thine ears and go thy way, and I will give unto the last, even as it is unto thee. It is not lawful for me to do what I will with my own, but is thy evil because I am good. So the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few are chosen. You see, this is a, uh, this is a parable about Jesus trying to get people to go work in the labor field in the vine in, in the vineyard here and uh you know the bible said pray you therefore that the 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 uh the you know the fields are uh white of the harvest but the labors are few pray therefore that the lord would send labors into his harvest field you know we got to have labors in this last day you know labors and workers you know working in the uh, kingdom of god you know let's face it we can't take nothing with us in this life except our labor you know, and our love uh, for the Lord. That's all we get to take with us, you know, when we when we leave this earth. But you know, the, the sixth hour it represented noontime. The ninth hour it represented three o'clock. And we find out Jesus hangs on the cross from the sixth hour, ninth hour, and, and he cries out, Eli, Eli, Sabachnatha, meaning, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The ninth hour was the time that Jesus died on the cross. So what, what, what Jesus was saying here, he said, hey, you go work. So if you don't want to go in uh, the third hour, he said, well, go to the sixth hour. You know, the sixth hour also, it represents the hour of prayer. And, uh, you know, we need, uh, uh, we need laborers, you know, to, uh, to come to church, you know, and, and hit the altars and, and pray, you know, pray, pray for a good solid hour, you know, uh, hour of prayer. You know, uh, we, uh, the Lord could use uh, some people like that in his vineyard in this last day. You know, I heard Pastor Anthony up here preaching on prayer one time, and he said a lot of times, uh, people have got this all the way down to just a moment of silence. He said, we can't have a moment of silence. We got we to gotta pray. You know, praying is work also. Praying is labor and working and traveling in the spirit, you know, and uh, 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 we got to pray. But anyway, uh, uh, the ninth hour is when Jesus, you know, died on the cross. And uh, we, need, uh, we, we need some people out there, 
you know, working in the vineyard, telling people about the cross, telling people about Jesus Christ and him crucified, telling people about, you know, why Jesus came to this earth, you know, to, to die on an old rugged cross to save sinners like you and like me. You know, we need to keep on preaching that cross. We, we don't just need laborers in the vineyard, you know, idling around doing nothing, but we need laborers in the vineyard preaching on the cross. We need laborers in the vineyard that are praying hour. We need laborers in the vineyard, you know, in this last day. Anyway, the 11th hour, uh, 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 some of them waited to everybody bore the uh, labor in the heat of the day. Then here come the, the other ones that said, you know, uh, let us work, you know. So they go in 11th hour and, uh, and, and and they're just working away, you know. And, but when it comes time to get paid, they all get paid the same, you know. And uh, this is what Jesus is saying. It don't matter if you go in at the third hour, the sixth hour, the ninth hour, or the eleventh hour. It all pays the same. It don't matter if you get saved early in your life, and and somebody gets saved uh, 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 an hour before they die. Uh, it all pays the same. It pays eternal life, and it pays heaven. That's what this parable was all about, you know. So it's never too late, you know, to call upon the Lord, you know. And uh, I, I believe right now, you know, in the spirit, we're pretty much living in the eleventh hour, you know. Jesus all the time talking about uh, uh, an hour in the Bible. You know, the Bible says uh, one day is a thousand years and a thousand, thousand years is one day when it all comes to pass. It's nothing more than a watch and a night. And, and you know, a day is 12 hours. A, a day and a night is 24 hours. You know, but time is going by so quick, you know, that, that time is really short. So we got to redeem the time and make the best out of every hour that we can. But, you know, I looked up the word 11th hour and what it means, it means the latest possible time before it's too late. You know, don't wait till it's too late. You know, if you feel Jesus calling you, nudging you, you need to get saved, you need to give your life to him, or you need to rededicate to him and surrender to him and, and, and repent and do your first works over, you know, it's never too late, you know, if, if you're willing to surrender and do what he's called you to do. But it means the latest possible time before it's too late. Also, it means just in time. You know, I was talking about up here the other night. Some of us, we got saved just in time. There used to be a song that said, he healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. You know, I've got that testimony. You know, the Lord, he saved me just in time. If I'd went a, a, a week longer or a month longer or a year longer, I might not have been here. You know, thank God. But if you're out there listening to me tonight, uh, this could be the day that you allow the Lord to, to save you. It could be just in time. You know, we're not, we're not promised uh, next week. We're not promised next month. We're not promised next year. But we need to take every opportunity that we can, you know, and uh, uh, give our life to the Lord. Anyway, uh, also it means a final opportunity. And it also means last call. But uh, this whole uh, parable here, it's about grace. It's about goodness. It's about mercy. It's about how God is just, how God does everything equal how uh, 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 God says, you know, I ain't got no big eyes or little U's. It don't matter if you went the sixth hour, ninth hour, whatever. It don't matter if you went to 11th hour and, and, and worked for him. He said, it all pays the same. It all pays eternal life. It all pays at heaven. And, uh, you know, that's what we're all doing. We're, the Bible said that we're just all laborers together, working together, you know, in the kingdom of God. So, uh, you know, that, that that's what this whole parable is about. So, uh if, uh, you know, if, if, if you haven't, you know, uh, uh, got in the labor field and went to work for the Lord, it's never too late to be what God has called you to be. There is plenty of room, you know, there's plenty of things to do out there for the Lord. Like I say, he could use some of him for prayer. He could use, uh, uh, some, he could use people going out here knocking on doors. Uh, he could use people, you know, uh, 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 coming and, and uh, being a doorkeeper. He can use people that would just come to the altar and be a prayer warrior and just pray and pray and pray. And, uh, you know, God's got all kind of work, you know, all different kind of work. He could use some of his out there in the nursing home ministry. He can use some of his in a jail ministry. You know, he could use some of his out there in the street ministry, you know, like he uses me. But, uh, you know, God's got all kind of work for us to do. The Lord, uh, the Lord just wanting us to say, okay, I'm tired of being idle and I need to get in a vineyard, and I need to go to work. You see, when you work in a vineyard, you've got to, uh, you got, uh, or if you work in a field like I'm talking about, uh, if you're going to bring forth fruit, you got to, you got to prune. You got to prune the branches, and sometimes God has to prune us. You got to pull up weeds, and sometimes God has to pull up weeds, and uh, you got to glean the fruit. 
you got to get a hold of a plow and you got to, you got to plow. You got to move rocks out of the way, stumps out of the way. You got to move things out of the way that, that gets in your way. And you just got to keep on plowing. You know, we got to make up our mind. We, we're going to plow in the kingdom of God until we, we see them pearly gates, you know, made up my mind a long time ago. You know, Lord, I'm, uh, uh, I might not have went at the sixth hour. I might not have went at the ninth hour. I might, uh, I might not have been uh, 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 one of them uh, a great people of the faith, a great giant of the faith a long time ago, but I'm willing to get in there at this 11th hour, whatever time we got left here on earth, and do as much as I can for the Lord. You know, will, will you do that? Will you say, Lord, I'll, I'll get in here at the 11th hour, and I'll surrender, and I'll rededicate, and I'll go out there and do uh, 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 what you want me to do and what you asked me to do you know when jesus struck apostle paul down on the road of damascus when he fell down on his face uh the first thing he uh, uh, uh said to the lord after the lord spoke to him uh, asked him why he would persecute him he said lord he said he, he said what would you have me to do before he even looked up you know he said lord what would you have me to do you know and that's why we need to ask the question lord what would you have me to do in your vineyard what would you have me to do in your labor field what would you have me to do in this 11th hour Lord, uh, I, I, I'm ready to go, you know. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> you know, we are running out of time. And this whole parable here, it's about time being short. And we don't want to waste time. And we don't want to be idle. But we want to do what we can for the kingdom of God, you know, while we can. Well, hey, it's a brother Shane. If you don't have a home church, I'm about to come up here at Oasis Ministries where we're trying to uh, do what we can while we can for the Lord. Well, God bless you. And we will see you next week.